Um, no, but in, in reality, you know, I think as we've talked about on your show many times, ADL has been very alarmed at the level of just raw, toxic anti-Semitism. And on Twitter, let me be clear, I believe that hate speech is part of the price of free speech. I think we've got to be willing in a democracy to tolerate ideas that we really don't like, that we even detest. But there's something different about incitement and threats. So I'm not talking about conspiracy theories that are, you know, without consequence. This is really problematic, Joe, and it has real world consequences. So while we have been concerned, and I've expressed it on this show, where would Elon take the platform? I've now had several conversations with him. He held an audience, not just with me, but I brought together other civil rights leaders from our Stop Hate for Profit coalition. And, you know, actions speak louder than words, but I'm encouraged by what I heard this week. All right, guys, we got to talk about Elon and X. X, the platform formerly known as Twitter, that Elon Musk is trying very, very, very hard to make a profitable company, okay? He desperately wants to get his money back after his $44 billion investment that he made into this com company by buying it after claiming that he wanted to restore free speech. Now, uh, did he actually restore free speech on the internet with Twitter? Uh, it depends on who you ask. If you ask hardline conservatives, they'll say, eh, not really, right? It's better than it used to be, but not really. If you ask a liberal or woke revolutionary, They'll tell you that Twitter is more hateful than ever, right? Twitter has become the most hateful platform on the internet, okay? It's extremely, extremely, extremely dangerous place to be if you are a so-called person of color, a minority, and this is why uh, X should be destroyed, right? Which is what they're trying to do, okay? The woke powers that be are trying to destroy X. Now, uh, they had their puppet, Mark Zuckerberg, uh, create a platform called Threads, which is basically an exact copy of X slash Twitter, except that platform did not live up to the hype, right? That platform quickly, quickly, quickly declined in users because quite simply it was boring, right? Turns out when you are in a echo chamber, it's not fun to hear everybody agree that, hey, Trump is racist, right? Apparently that's not fun. So yeah, the Walker revolutionaries who have been claiming for some time now, a long time, that we're going to leave Twitter slash X, okay? We're going to leave the platform. At, they can't really seem to leave the platform. Therefore, they've now resulted to trying to destroy X slash Twitter financially. And the way to do that is to basically pressure advertisers into no longer supporting the platform because the platform is hateful, okay? And that brings us to this story right here which involves Elon Musk threatening to sue the ADL for accusing him and the platform X of anti-Semitism. Now, a little bit of background into this. Uh, the ADL has been a pain in the butt for Elon Musk, to say the least, because they're one of many woke organizations who have nothing to do with Twitter, but seem to think that they run Twitter, okay? And what they do is that they basically tell Elon Musk how he's supposed to run his platform if he does not go along with their agenda of censorship and their politics, what they do is that they threaten to go to advertisers and to say, hey, this platform is hateful and that you shouldn't advertise on a platform thus destroying the platform financially. Again, the ADL and Elon Musk have had a history of going back and forth and having discussions about, again, what is appropriate on Elon Musk's platform, almost like they believe that they, they own the guy. The ADL, our center for technology and society, works actively with all, all the kind of companies of Silicon Valley, from Apple to Zoom, if you will, from Amazon to Microsoft, to Meta, and indeed to Twitter. We've dealt with them for years, helping them tackle the challenges of hate speech on their service. We point things out, we share information, but what we've said again and again and again, and I've had the privilege of speaking directly to Elon a few times, the reason why we are so concerned is because we think Twitter is such a consequential service. And again, allowing people who created the toxicity on the platform that led to real world violence. Keep in mind that the conspiracy theories 
that dominated on Twitter for so long exploded in places like Pittsburgh, Poway, El Paso, and of course, ultimately in Washington, D.C. on January the 6th. So what I would say very clearly is that to you, as I've told Elon Musk, as I've told to others, we need these companies to engage constructively, smartly use their innovation to tackle hate speech. I see that chart you put up. That contradicts what we're seeing at ADL. We've seen anti-Semitic speech stay up there longer than ever before. We've been, you know, indicating when we've seen toxic content, it's not coming down nearly as quickly as in the past. And considering that the human resources have been massively depleted at the company, that would seem to figure and loom large as to why it's happening today. Look, at the end of the day, Katie, ADL, and I think so many of us want Twitter to work for all of its users, for journalists like yourself, for watchdogs like my organization, for the whole country. But tackling hate speech needs to be all of our commitment because freedom of speech isn't the freedom to slander people, Katie, right? Freedom of expression shouldn't be the freedom to incite violence. That shouldn't be okay no matter who's running the company. Yeah, freedom of speech shouldn't be the freedom to slander people, according to ADL Chief Joel Greenblatt. Amazing. Interesting. Okay, the same organization that basically slanders anybody who disagrees with them or the left narrative, the far left narrative as an anti-Semite, right? You slandered them as an anti-Semite, which is exactly what they did to Elon Musk because this all kind of started or it kind of picked up when the hashtag ban the ADL was trending on Twitter. And part of the reason why is because the new CEO of uh, Twitter, Miss uh, Linda y- y- Yaccarino, I think that's how you pronounce her name, uh, she basically has been in talks with ADL, and the ADL has basically been bragging about how they've been pressuring her to censor more, right, so that the platform can be more advertiser-friendly. And people started tweeting, ban the ADL, okay, because people don't like this organization censoring what can be on platforms that they, they don't own, right? And uh, Elon Musk actually liked some of these tweets, and understandably so, considering how the ADL has been nothing but a pain in the butt for him. And he is now being accused of being anti-Semitic for liking tweets that call for the banning of the ADL, right? Again, you can't make this stuff up. Elon Musk wants to ban the ADL or likes tweets associated with banning the ADL because the ADL has accused him of anti-Semitism or allowing anti-Semitism on the platform, even though he showed data uh, that, you know, in his mind proves that I'm not allowing hate speech to roam rapid on the platform, but yet you're still claiming that there's more hate speech on the platform. You're accusing me of anti-Semitism. Yeah, we're going to have some problems, okay? We're going to have some big, big, big problems. So again, that brings me to this article right here, this story right here about Elon Musk, who is now planning to sue the ADL for accusing him of anti-Semitism because now it's gotten to the point where the ADL has cost Twitter millions, if not billions of dollars. So let's read here. In the newest uproar you might have missed, Elon Musk says X, formerly Twitter, will file a defamation lawsuit against the Anti-Defamation League. Musk accused the ADL, an organization that works to combat anti-Semitism, extremism, and bigotry, of falsely accusing him and X of being anti-Semitic. Quote, to clear our platform's name on the matter of anti-Semitism, it looks like we have no choice but to file a defamation lawsuit against the Anti-Defamation League. Oh, the irony tweeted the billionaire celebrity on Monday. Musk also blamed ADL for X's falling U.S. advertising revenue. Quote, our U.S. advertising revenue is still down 60%, primarily due to pressure on advertisers by at ADL. That's what advertisers tell us. So they almost succeeded in killing X slash Twitter, Musk said. Musk started off this latest tirade by claiming to be pro-free speech, but against anti-Semitism of any kind. The tweets come as Musk has been called out for liking posts with the hashtag uh, ban the ADL, which was trending on X last week. 
The trending hashtag and Musk's engagement with it began hours after the ADL said it had a productive conversation with uh, ex-CEO uh, Linda Yaccarino about fighting hate speech on the platform. Quote, since the acquisition, the ADL has been trying to kill this platform by falsely accusing it and me and of being uh, anti-Semitic. Tweeted Musk on Monday, if this continues, we will have no choice but to file a defamation suit against uh, ironically, the anti-defamation leak. All right, so here's what I think about this. Um, I think that what Elon Musk is doing is clearly what he has to do because I'm so sick and tired of these organizations that claim to be fighting against so-called hate speech, pressuring advertisers to not fund platforms that have policies that they disagree with. Okay, because this has nothing to do with actual hate speech as much as it has to do with not agreeing with their world view. Because we know how these people operate. Anything that these people disagree with politically is hate speech, right? I mean, you could say that water is wet. And if somehow, some way that gets in the way of these organizations and their political uh, agenda, whether it be the ADL or the NAACP or whatever woke organization out there, or really the Democrat Party in general, um, they're going to say, oh, that's hate speech, right? Water is wet is hate speech because it gets in the way of our agenda. So when your definition of hate speech is basically anything that you disagree with, anything that is against your agenda, and then you're going to advertisers and using your name and your connections to say, oh, we think this platform has hate speech. You don't want to advertise on it. Again, in my opinion, that is wrong. You're using advertisers or you're trying to pressure advertisers to defund a platform that doesn't want to do what you say. It's, it's really, I mean, it's disgusting. I, I, I don't like this. That is the main reason why you have censorship on these platforms, guys. These platforms in and of themselves, they don't really give a damn. They're just trying to make as much money as possible, okay? If these platforms can monetize damn near all the content, on the platform without any type of pushback or backlash, they do it. They do it. But the problem is, is that you see censorship happen. You see people get deplatformed, demonetized. You see it because advertisers are basically saying, hey, we don't want to put our ads on this content. And the reason why they're saying that they don't want to do that is because they have these woke organizations in their ear telling them, hey, you shouldn't be supporting hate if you put ads on content that we disagree with politically, you're supporting hate by putting your ads there. And that's what's happening, folks. So, yeah, I think Elon Musk, you know, hey, I don't know if his lawsuit is going to be successful, but at this point, he doesn't have a choice. He doesn't have a choice because when you have a entity, an organization like the ADL basically accusing you of anti-Semitism because you're not running the platform the way they want it. What else can you do, right? If that's causing you money, okay? If advertisers say, look, we don't want to advertise with you because, you know, the ADL said that you're hateful, right? The ADL said you're anti-Semitic. Again, they're, they're trying so hard to take down this man's platform. And, you know, it, to me, it's just, it's pathetic. And it's time for, you know, somebody like Elon Musk, who has billions of dollars to actually stand up to some of these organizations and to say, hey, enough is enough. We're not going to tolerate you trying to de defund us by falsely accusing us of bigotry. Because, again, you can't run our organization the way that you want it to. We're not going to allow you to do that. So, hey, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.